Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. This is what we don't understand. If you don't keep the commandments, you're not getting in the kingdom of heaven. Everybody always talk about heaven. You follow me, heaven? Everybody always talk about heaven, heaven, heaven. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven if you don't keep the commandments. So you're going to disrespect God, not do what God said all this time, and then you think you're just going to get in it. It don't work like that. Right. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 8. Uh -huh. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and scorners uh -huh. and idolaters uh -huh. and all liars uh -huh. shall have a part in the, the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Everybody that's in the midst of that, they are going to perish. If you don't repent, you continue to do these things, you're going to perish, you're going to die. Right. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Don't look like a lake of fire and talk about that in the Bible. Yes, sir. And if you don't want to experience that, you must keep the commandments. Read. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And this shall be the plan wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So, first and foremost, all the people that did us harm, every race that partook in the transatlantic slave trade, the sub the sub-Saharan slave trade, anybody that funded the slave boats to come take us, everybody that played a part in our demise, God said this is gonna be their punishment. Yes, Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they're standing upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. So and it said they skin gonna burn off of their body while they standing up. What weapon can do that? A missile. Yep. They showed that in Terminator. Yep. She was she holding the face. gate. Yep. They got that from here. Yep. That is going to happen. And if we don't want to experience this, we got to keep the commandments, bro. That's it. We got to keep the commandments. Number one, that's your culture. That's your heritage. Number two, that's what's going to save you. Right. If you ain't in order when Christ come back, it's off with your head. And this is what our people don't know. Read. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. The tongue gonna burn in your mouth when that stuff hit this place. That's how powerful them things is. They say after the nuke hit the earth, the, the uh, what is it? The fallout, when the smoke leave it after it blew up, that kills people and the smoke travels for miles. What's his name? Exactly. Let us know. What the, what the next step is, what their plans are. Exactly. That's what the Hollywood movie of the is all but about. But sometimes they make it as a joke. It's going to happen for real. Exactly. Anything they put on the television screen is like, they tell everyone what's about that. Like you said, exactly. what a joke or play. When you, when you look up Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, when they dropped the bomb on Japan, that's how them bombs do them bombs destroy whole countries. Right. That's what's gonna happen to this place. And if you don't want to experience that, you must repent, you must keep the commandments fully, you can't play. Psalms 11959. So anything, God, God. anything that you don't know, bro, like I say, we'll show it to you. But you can't be out here, you know you Israel and you ain't all the way in order, you ain't together. You get what I'm saying? We just show how serious God take clothes. Me, when I say that, I'm like, I'm putting yeah. my fringes on. Right. I'm growing my beard. That's right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 59. Uh -huh. I thought on my way. So that's what we got to do when we, when we hear this word come out. Whether we know a little bit or we don't know at all, you got to think on your ways. My way don't work. You right. know, because you, you know you is ready. A lot of our people, they stubborn. They stuck in their ways. Just look at Bronzeville. You from Chicago? Yeah. Born and raised? Yeah. Our ways got this neighborhood, Inglewood, Pullman, Humble Park, Garfield Park. That's our way. Yeah. Your way don't work. It ain't Read my it way, again. It I thought on my ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
think on your way. That's what we supposed to do. Read. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. My way don't work. Let me try God's way. Read on. I made haste. He did what? I made haste. That's King David talking. He said I made haste. Meaning I moved quick to do what? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. I didn't waste no time to keep God's commandments. Because you understand, you held at a higher standard than everybody else out here. That's right. You remember when Christ said, my servant that knew my will and committed sin, he going to be beat with many strikes. My servant that didn't know my will, he going to be beat with few strikes. Both of them going to get punished, but the servant that knew going to get punished worse. So the fact that you walk around, you know you Israel, if you ain't in order when Christ come back, he's going to deal with you harder. I'm going to start following all his commandments. You got to. Enough. Because he's going to hold you more accountable than he is with our people over here that don't know. That's right. They still going to get punished because they the Israelites and they not doing what he saying. But you know better, you're supposed to do better. You follow me? Yeah, so you right now, you got somewhere that you go? I got nowhere to really be. You know what Let me show you that. That's why we here. Guess what? So on the Sabbath, you ain't supposed to buy or sell. You ain't supposed to cook on the Sabbath. You ain't supposed to work on the Sabbath. Guess what else you're supposed to do? You're supposed to gather together with other believers on the Sabbath. That's a commandment. That ain't all. Oh, I'm saying that because I feel no. That's what the Bible says. Whatever I wish I say, the highest say, he got to do that. That's right. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 10 and verse 25, uh -huh. not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. An assembly is gathering. He said don't forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Read. As the manner of some is. That's the matter of some people. Read. But exhorting one another. And so much more as ye see the day approaching. Because we have, the only way you're going to get exhortation or you're going to get some motivation is if you're around people. That's right. We exhort each other to continue what? Keeping the commandments. Right. Because we see the day approaching. The end is coming. Guess what? I'm going to show you something. You turn around, you see this right here. What this used to be? Walmart. You know, that's a small taste of famine. Yeah. Because no, no, it man. man. Yeah. The Bible talk about famine. Yeah. It was a great famine when you read Acts that our forefathers was living around during that time. Yeah. Famine is going to hit this earth again, meaning the shortage of food. He said it's a famine of the word too, right? Yep, famine, famine of the, of the word, word too. But we talking about that food shortage right now. That's the taste of it. Yeah. Guess what? I heard they closed out four of them. You close a bunch of grocery stores in black neighborhoods and they ain't got no car, no transportation, where they gonna get their food? Now people finna start stealing. Now people finna start doing things that they not supposed to do. That's gonna create a hellish condition. I think they did it on purpose. They knew exactly what they were doing. These things, it's bad times coming. And the only way you're going to be able to last through them is if you're keeping the command. Because the Bible tells you how to prepare, believe it or not. But if we ain't in here, we're going to get swept up in all the stuff that's going to happen. So I, I, I sincerely encourage you, bro. Learn more. You ain't got no way you congregate that. You're trying to learn. There's some stuff that you're missing. We'll teach it to you. But one thing for certain, if we don't repent, we're going to die. Luke 13. Luke 13 and, uh, and 1. We don't repent, we're going to die. We don't do what God said, we are going to die. That's it. We got to live. How you got live? got to ask the most high for, for mercy. What makes you live? Repentance. Follow his commandments. the commandments. God gave us two choices. Our people are always talking about free will, free will, free will. What Moses do? Moses gave us two choices. He said, this day I said before you, life and death, choose ye. Life is keeping the commandments, death is not doing what God said. So the choice is yours. Read. Don't you through? Yeah. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13, in verse 3. Now this is how was I talking. Read. I tell you, nay, but accept ye repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Perish means die. Except we repent, we are going to die. Repentance ain't, okay, I hear the word, know a little something, then I leave it that I ain't saying you, but this was some of our people think. No, when you repent, you're not doing what you used to do no more. Right. 
Remember what Christ told the woman, go and sin no more. You're not supposed to go back and do the same thing. After she grabbed his head. Is that the woman who No, his that's head? a different situation. No, you good, you good. That's why we here. Inform, teach, that's why we here. This was the woman who uh, was caught in adultery. In John 8, he told her, go sin no more. Don't sin no more. That's the purpose. We say, oh, I repent, blah, blah, blah. and then we go back and do the same thing. That's not sincere. Right. When you sincere, you don't do it no more. That's repentance. In your repentance, you learning the commandments and you keeping the commandments. Why? Because you want eternal life. That's right. Revelation 14, no, Revelation 21 and verse 8. Because this is what we don't understand. Revelation 21 8 and Matthew 19 and 16. This is what we don't understand. If you don't keep the commandments, you're not getting in the kingdom of heaven. Everybody always talk about heaven. You follow me, heaven? Everybody always talk about heaven, heaven, heaven. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven if you don't keep the commandments. So you're going to disrespect God, not do what God said all this time, and then you think you're just going to get in. It don't work like that. Right. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 8. Uh -huh. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and scorners uh -huh. and idolaters uh -huh. and all liars uh -huh. shall have their part in the, the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Everybody that's in the midst of that, they are going to perish. If you don't repent, you continue to do these things, you're going to perish, you're going to die. Right. You're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Give me Matthew 19 and 16. This is the book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Now this brother was talking to Yahweh Shai, the Messiah. I want to get eternal life. I want to get into heaven. How do you do that? Read. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want eternal life. Read. Keep the commandments. We think, okay, if I give somebody a thousand dollars, if I help an old lady cross the street, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's not going to get you in the kingdom. What's going to get you in the kingdom of heaven is the keeping of God's law. I'm going to show you another law. 1 Corinthians 11. This is something you probably ain't know. What's something you notice about us? All us, top of our head. You should be covered. Covered or so uncovered? You Oh, oh, I'm, my bad. I'm not no disrespect anyway. Are we supposed to keep our hands covered at all times only unless we prophesy? No, your hair should be uncovered. That's for the women. The women, I'm going to show you. The women are supposed to have their hair covered when the scriptures come out. Not the men. Not I mean, uh, just doing it throughout the day. No. You're supposed to keep our hands covered? You ain't got to have your hair covered throughout the whole day. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So now this is the Apostle Paul. He's giving the order. The order of operations. You know how you go to a job, they got an order of operations. It's the manager, the supervisor. So he's giving the order of operations for the Israelite household. Read that again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man Yahweh Shah, the Messiah, Christ, or whatever name you come to call it. That's your head. That's your room. Quick question. Go ahead. Don't even have to make sure you have it. Is that okay? Nope. That's not important. That's why when you first had said that, I was like, I showed you why we suffer. We ain't suffering because of the name. I'm going to show you another verse in a minute. Right now, I want to show you this right here. Read and the head because we got to deal with the head cover and the head of the woman and the head and the head of the woman is the man so the head of the woman the leader of the woman is the man so the messiah is our head we are the woman's head and the woman is over the children we don't and the head of christ is god the messiah's head is the most high so that's the order three every man praying or prophesying Having his head covered.
dishonoreth his head. So right now, this is the Mr. Prophecy right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Your head is the Messiah. You see that? Now, why you do that? Because we, we are in the midst of prophesying. And you what else? Prophesying, and I'm in the congregation. We are congregating, uh, fellowshipping. We are congregating the multitude together. What you just said, is I see the most high is giving me a little bit of a You let me know, take my hat off. You disrespect them. You love them. Right, that's Before right. You get what I'm saying? Right. That's what our people don't be understanding when we showing them this stuff. Right. If you love God, you're going to do it. You took your hat off because you love the most high. That's, that's right. right. Most people, they, man, I, you don't love the most high. It's just that simple. I'm not telling you do nothing my own personal will. Right. If you love God, you're going to do it. Yeah. And you are brother, so we got to show you this. You probably didn't know shit. Right. Now you know. Oh, Read on. Okay. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied it with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. Now, if there was a sister standing right here and she was listening and we showed her this, she loved God, she would cover her head. Regardless of the fact that it's the summertime, she'll put something on her head. Why? Because right. she loved God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is stuff that we don't know. And this is a least commandment. A least commandment, small commandment that we must keep as a people. Because if we don't keep the commandments, we're going to die. We're not getting into the kingdom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.